Dobar dan svima, ja sam Moja Blue and today my video is going to be on small talk in Serbia because you asked for it. So I was kind of avoiding on talking about this aspect because I am writing a book and I'm intending on publishing it very soon and I'm gonna talk about some useful phrases in there but because I know that this is what you want and I really want to make it available to you that's why I decided to make a video on this and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give you some examples of how you like spontaneous answers or like spontaneous questions in a small talk and chit chat however you want to call it and I wrote down some questions that we automatically ask when we see someone and like we haven't seen them in a long time like what's up what's new and stuff like that and then I will spontaneously answer these questions and then explain what the answer means usually there's not a lot to the answer but these are just some examples on what you can hear so let's dive in so imagine that you have a friend and you didn't see them for like a week or two and then you meet them somewhere in the street and then one of the questions that you might be asked or that you must, might ask that other person is Gdesi. This basically means where are you? This question can have many variations so usually the proper one in Serbia is Gdesi but you can also hear Desi or you can hear Disi which is <laughs> something we use in my area or at least in my family as I don't know. One of the versions that you can hear is Jesi which I think is more Iekavica uh, where you can hear it in Bosnia, maybe some parts of Croatia. So what would you answer? Let's see someone ask me, hey, Desi. Then I can say, Evo. Which is basically, it means, as you can see, you can, I mean, I'm here, you know. You can also add, ma Evo, or Evo me. These are basically the same things, but um, you just add a bit of like flow to it, right? You just don't, you don't say Evo, but you can say, mm. Like, there I am. You can also say Tusam, which means I'm here, exactly, as you see me. It's just a bit like, maybe like, kind of funny because they're asking you like, where have you been, right? But you're as answering, well, now I'm here, as you see me. But then also you can answer, where are you? Where have you been? Um, and that's basically, a desiti, nemate. Nemate is, I haven't seen you. Like, where are you hiding? Actually, where are you hiding would be se. So basically, you can flip the conversation so that you are the one asking the question like, well, what are you asking me about me? I mean, I haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? And then organically, you come to the question, what's up? What's new? So this is štaima or štaima novo. Novo is new. So basically, if you want to ask what's up, it's štaima and what's new, štaima novo. Then you can answer ništa which is nothing. You can also say ništa posebno, nothing special. And you can say svašta, which is a lot has happened. And if you say šta nema, it means oh, there's so much that I need mean, better not to have all of these things happening to me. There's this one funny phrase or funny sentence that we use uh, among my family. Um, and I'm not really sure from which movie this is or Movie series, something, it must be something. Let me know in the comments if you if you recognize this uh, sentence. But we usually say, šta ima ima, šta nema kupit ćemo, Which basically means, um, what is there is there, and if we don't have something, we're just gonna buy it. It's fine, like, basically you're saying, everything's cool, everything's great, we are not complaining. But you can also answer with, mm, I'm working, Radi se. Of course, you can always add evo. Evo radi se. Evo is basically as you can see, right? Uči se, which is studying, learning. Odmara se, which is um, chilling, you know. Kuva se, cooking. Sprema se, cleaning. Um, yeah, many other things. It can be, it can be anything. And then you might be asked the question, kako je, which is how is it. And again, you can answer by using EVO. <laughs> but mind you, you have to add something after EVO. You have to explain what that EVO means. It's not just like, okay, they see you and they know what you've done, what you have, you know, what news you have, but it's like you have to fill them in. Um, so you can say EVO RADNO, which is busy. NERADNO, which is not busy. <laughs> Opušteno, which is relaxed. Of course, if someone asks you, how is it? You know, how you've been, basically. You can say, uh, dobro je, which is good. Um, you can say, 
nikako, like horrible. Like you can also say loše. That's like oh, it's bad. It's bad. Um, or super good. Odlično, amazing. Or katastrofa, which is catastrophe. You can also use, um, which is what we use in the north, uh, maidi, which is like, ah, oh, get out of here, it's horrible, basically. You can also say može bolje, or uvek može bolje, which is, it can always be better. Or you can say, I'm not complaining, ne želim se. So if you tell someone like, katastrofa, nikako, loše, um, Maidi bad guy, <laughs> um, which basically is all like these are all words for like it's horrible, it's not good. Um, then that other person can ask you što or zašto, like surprise, like why or kako tako, like why is it like that? Or they can say što tako, which is pretty much the same. Why is it like that? Um, they can say molim, which is like what? Excuse me. Uh, or šta? What? Like, <laughs> now I'm translating, they all just sound the same, but um, yeah, these are all words you can use, like, I need more explanation, why? Then you can answer, eto. It, it just is like that, basically. Šta ti kažem? Which is, I, I don't know what to tell you, like, it's, you know, horrible, like, I don't even have words. Which is, I don't have words is, nemam reči. Tako je kako je. It is what it is. Instead of asking um, how is it, how you've been, you can also ask a specific question. So, how's your job, your wife, your kids, your husband, your mom, or whatever. So you can ask this by using the question word kako, which is how, um, and then just adding that noun. So you, uh, colloquially, you don't have to use a verb is, which is usually will be kako je posao, how is it work, uh, how has it been at work, then you can just say kako posao. Kako posao? Kako muž? How is your husband? Kako žena? How is your wife? Kako dečko? How is your boyfriend? Kako devojka? How is your girlfriend? Kako deca? How are your kids? So if someone asks you, how's your, um, how's at work? Um, kako je posao? Or kako posao? You can answer, um, dobro je or loše. <laughs> or you can say, ide, which is like, it's, it's, it's getting there. It's like going slowly. Uh, actually, if you want to say it's going slowly, then you can say ide polako. Um, you can say polako ali sigurno, slowly but surely. If someone asks you about your kids, you can say dobro su. Um, a singular one kid is uh, dobro je. Kako je dete? Dobro je. One of the funny things that we say is that how's your wife or how's your husband? You can say slusha, um, which is she's listening to me or Nesluša, which is she's not listening to me like we're bickering basically and that is it these are some usual questions that we ask obviously i'm sure that there's quite more and in different parts of serbia they're probably different uh, maybe different dialects maybe completely different phrases that you use maybe completely different phrases that you use to answer but i'm just sending you from my experience what i usually answer what i still use with my friends and family and yeah these were actually very spontaneous uh phrases and like small talk words that I use in conversation. You or some people in Serbia might have some different ones and I'm really really curious to see what you have to say so let me know some of the phrases that you use, some of the questions that you use, um, is there something new like some new words that I'm not aware of, write it in the comments down below. I hope you really liked the video and um, I'm gonna try to make very similar content very soon and I'll keep you posted about my book which hopefully is going to be out in like two weeks or so and I'm really looking forward. So let's see. Um, have a nice weekend and see you very soon. Bye!